when we're thinking about selling art online, most artists do all of these things that just that make sense to some extent, but don't work. Most artists spend their time making, for example, a website. They spend their time on social media, making sure that they're posting enough posts, that they're building some kind of strange community, and then they're worrying about likes and all of that type of stuff that just doesn't matter at all. Um, some of them will make fancy business cards. Some of them will like all of these things that don't matter. Some of, some of them will go on on online searching for for people who who write in magazines and then can't at them and then they they get featured and all of these stuff like here's the thing most of these artists 99 percent of them they don't sell any art none and perhaps at max a few one two three to family members or, or friends or whatever like they don't sell art why because these things they don't really matter they, they, they are not the core aspect of an artist business of an art business they are not the core practice a fancy website is cool you know like having a great artist website is cool it, it, it's good it's an extra but the truth is that a great artist website will not sell any art having a great artist portfolio website is like is, is an extra you know it's extra wood on the fire but you need to have that fire burning beforehand otherwise the fire will not get bigger because of the website it's like it's like wearing clothes you know like it's, strangely enough it sounds like it is a little bit like wearing clothes wearing clothes will not increase sales wearing the right clothes will not increase sales will it make sure that you come over as a little bit better or whatever like probably but it's not a pr predominant determining factor and for some reason artists seem to understand that they seem to understand that clothes don't matter but they seem to not really understand that their artist website doesn't matter if they don't have the foundations right and so this is crucial. Now, what is that number one thing that you really desperately need that will trump all of, of that fluffy thing that is floating around that will be way better than having a great artist website, than having a great social media page with a lot of followers, than having um, a great business card or fancy dress code to go to art fairs or um, or featured in some cool magazines or winning prizes. A lot of artists are spending time trying to win competitions and stuff like that. Like what is going to be way more powerful than all of these things combined? All of them. It's knowing how to sell art. It's actually having a sales present or a sales script or a sales system, a sales mechanism that will make sure that you can sell art. And so what I see a lot of artists doing is they will spend a lot of time in all of these facade things. And the problem with that is that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, like making a great website with great copy, with great pictures, with all of those things, like that takes a lot of time. You know, it, it takes a couple of months. Sure, building building just a WordPress with crappy copy and, and some some random images that, that is probably done in a couple of days. But if you want to re have a real website, a really powerful website, it's going to take a lot of time. Getting featured in all of these magazines is going to take a lot of time. Business, all of the fancy strange things that people think they need in order to start a business. It takes a lot of time. And before they know it, they are one or two years in. They don't sell any art. And, and, and they're kind of a little bit 50%, like, like half burned out because of all the work, work that they've put in and the lack of results that they've, they've gotten because of that. And so that's a real problem in the arts. It's, it's people that don't understand what the predominant, what the most important factors are. Why do most startups go out of business? 
because they cannot generate any money. A lot of them had a great idea. They, they, they got funding, they got this, they, they have some whatever Harvard business graduate marketing, whatever dude, I don't really care. And because they cannot sell, they lose. Being able to make sales is just one of the main things. As an artist, you should be focusing on two things, making art and selling art. That's it. All the rest is extra. And so you have, or you need better, you need a foundation, a proof of concept, a something that works, that you know that works, that you know that sells. Something that just, and then after you have that proof of concept, after you, you know that it works, you can put more wood on the fire with the website with some magazine features, with perhaps a competition, if it's the right competition, with perhaps um, a grant where you can meet the right people, with perhaps et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, a gallery, you know, um, shows, like all of those things. But they, those are all things that, that come after, you know, like those are shows, like do shows as well. Shows doesn't really come after. It comes kind of in line with one another. But, but, um, but an artist website... I, I, I made that before I was doing a lot of sales. Like, truth be told, I made that mistake. But now looking backwards, what I would recommend is don't go for a website. Don't make an artist website just because you want one. Just because you want to flex, like, like show off that, that you're an artist. This is pretending. The truth is that I was probably predominantly pretending at that time. And... And I was not focusing on the right strategies, which were making sure that I knew how to approach collectors, how to build a list of collectors that would like my art, how to interact with them, how to make that sale, how to et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so my name is Dries Ketels. I want to help you out with this channel and, um, and explain some stuff about the business side of the arts explanations that I didn't got when I started out. Um, and and the truth is that there's a lot of noise out there, you know. Every time I read blogs, I sometimes think like, what the what the hell is this? This is this is just this is BS information. And and there's a lot of that out there. And so it's 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 difficult, or at least it was for me very difficult to know which information is true and which information is not true. And it cost me a lot of time and effort and pain and complaining and and whatever uh, to kind of start and start to figure it out. And so um, I hope you don't make those same mistakes. Um, if you want to know more about selling art, make sure you check out one of my videos. I have a lot of videos on selling art and, and I hope they help as well. Um, and I hope to see you again. <laughs> hope to see you again, please. Someday online. Ciao, ciao.